everyday craft. We're going to be making a, um, a candle holder. You know, guys, I love candles. We're going to be making a candle holder with glue or Mod Podge, whichever you prefer, and fall leaves. And it's going to be really pretty when we're done. But before we get to that, let's talk about my outfit for a minute. Haha. <laughs> All right, so this is my turkey costume. If any of you are wondering where I got it, I did get it from Build-A-Bear a few years ago, so I've had it a while. So let me show you the full scope of it. So here is the hood, looks like a turkey. Okay guys, so if you look down, you'll see the outfit and I have little, little shoes on. Aren't they cute, guys? Yeah, I got little shoes on. And then if I'm gonna spin around here for you, you'll see my butt. Check out my butt and my feathers. Haha, <laughs> yeah, guys, this is such an awesome outfit. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Haha, <laughs> I love it, guys. Anyway, let's get started. All right, guys, so here are the supplies you're going to need. We're going to be making, as Lammy mentioned, a fall candle holder. So first things first, you're going to need a jar. It can be any kind of jar. This one was a old coconut oil jar with the label removed. You're also going to need Mod Podge or any type of glue. Um, leaves, you can use fake leaves or you could use real leaves. These are actually real leaves that we bought um, in the floral section of our grocery store. You're going to need um, a sponge like this one or you could use a paintbrush or your fingers to apply the glue and you'll need scissors to cut up the leaves to apply to the jar. So first things first, before you even do anything, you're going to need to take some rubbing alcohol, which usually is found in um, like first aid kits. Make sure you get your parents help when you're dealing with any of this kind of stuff though. Um, and you're going to need to take some of that, put it on a cotton round or on a cotton ball, and you're going to take it and you're going to run it all over the surface of the glass. Now the reason why you're doing this is the glue or the Mod Podge will not stick to the glass if it has residue or oils or any of the sticker remaining. So you need to get it nice and clean so that way you don't have to worry about if the glue is going to stick or not. So that's the first step is to clean the jar with rubbing alcohol to get all the gunk off. The next step is to open the leaves and we're gonna cut off the pieces that we like. So let's do that next. All right, so we opened up the leaves and now you're just going to start picking them up. Now what you need to do is you need to go through your leaves, whether they're fake or real. You could even get some from your yard. And you need to start looking at them and figuring out the shapes of them and what ones you really like. Like the, I think the shape of this one is nice. So then you put the ones you're going to use off to the side like this. So we're just gonna go through here and pick a few. Lammy, do you wanna come help pick some? Okay, so we're gonna pick some of these and we're gonna figure out what ones we like. Um, and then we're probably gonna have to do some cutting and trimming to make sure that they're the right size we need for the jar. And uh, yeah, we'll be right back once we do that. So once you pick the leaves you like, you can set the others off to the side, which we've done here. And then here is what leaves we came up with. So the next step, after cleaning your glass, of course, is to line them up and kind of see how you want them. So yeah, see how nice that's gonna look? So we'll be able to take these and layer them on here. And another thing is, is if you have real leaves, but they're really dry or anything, what you can do is if you get them wet, then they'll be able to move more because they need to be flexible like this. So if you get any leaves that are too hard or really dried out, they probably won't work as well. These are fake leaves here in this little centerpiece. You could also use these as well, but make sure they're not too thick thick because if they're too thick they're going to want to peel up from the glass. So these are nice and soft and thin and these like I mentioned are real leaves from actual um, oak trees is what it said. So what we're going to do first is we're going to take one of our leaves and we're going to glue it on here. So let me show you how that's done. So we're going to take our jar and we're going to lay it down and then what we're going to do is we're going to kind of figure out where we want our leaves to go. So then we take our po Mod Podge or any glue that you may have, yay Mod Podge, pretty awesome stuff. And we're just gonna squirt some here onto the sponge. And then we're going to take the Mod Podge and we're gonna kind of coat like this. See how we're coating the glass a little bit? We're gonna coat the glass a little bit just because we need the leaf to kind of start to stick. So we're gonna take this and stick it on there right like that. 
and it sticks nicely, very nice. Now what we can do, and Mod Podge dries clear, which is cool, so you can take more, and then we can take the Mod Podge and put it on top of the leaf like this, because what we're doing is we're trying to seal the leaf onto the glass. So we're just taking the Mod Podge and putting it, see how it's sticking? And we're just putting it over the leaf like this. Now, to save time so that way you guys don't have to watch us do this, I am going to do most of this and then you can see how it's gonna turn out. So we'll be right back. All right, so it looks a little messy right now because we're still waiting for the glue to dry. And um, this is kind of what it looks like. So it's, it's a little messy looking right now, but we've taken the leaves and we've stuck them down and some of them are peeling up a little bit, but that's okay. I think that we like the 3D effect that it has. So if some of the leaves kind of poke up like this one, here, you can see how it's sticking up. That's kind of interesting, actually. So anyway, we are going to let this dry, and when it dries, it's going to look 100 times better, and even better when we put a candle in it. And we left some space open. See how you can see the glass right there? We kind of left some space open, so that way some of the candle light can come through and shine, and it'll be really pretty. So we're gonna let this dry, and then we'll show you what it looks like. All right, let me come take a look at it. All right, coming over. Oh, yes, I think it's fantastic smells like glue. Well, Lammy, there's, it's cause it's glue. All right, we're gonna let this dry and we'll be back soon. Alrighty guys, so there is our finished candle holder and I think it's so pretty. Mom, hold it up to the camera so they can see it better. Okay, get out of the way. Okay, so Lammy wanted you to see this up close, so here you go. We put a little bit of twine up here just for decorative, and we have one of those battery-powered candles inside, so don't worry, I'm not gonna get burnt. And here are the leaves up close. We put it in front of a fan so it would dry faster, and I think that if you used like uh, maple leaves or any type of leaf that's bigger it might look a little better these leaves are oak leaves so they're kind of thin but anyway we do like the way it turned out that right there is very pretty actually so let's turn the lights off so we can see what it really looks like it'll glow really bright oh yeah guys check that out oh yeah it's so pretty yeah leaves 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 look at that very nice okay mom turn the light back on it's dark okay hold on Alright guys, so have you ever made a candle like this? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, yeah, and if you do make one of these, show me your recreations on my Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram account. All those links are down in the description box below. And be sure to subscribe because December 1st is coming and I can't wait to see if Sprinkles, the, our elf on the shelf, shows up. I hope he can find the new house. We've moved houses, guys, since last Christmas, so I hope he finds us okay. What do you think, Mom? Um, I think you'll find us. I mean, they, they've got like tracking on you. They know where you're at. All right, well, I hope so. Anyway, guys, so be sure to subscribe. I've got a lot of holiday and Christmas videos that'll be coming up during d December. Um, it's one of my favorite times of the year, and I will be having all sorts of craft videos, food videos, um, out going out and about. Um, I'm gonna have a decoration video, and of course we're gonna have the videos where Sprinkles makes an appearance, haha. <laughs> anyway, if any of you guys don't know who Sprinkles is, check out my older Christmas videos, like from last year and the year before, and you will see who Sprinkles is. We love him very much. So anyway, guys, I will uh, talk to you next time. Hope you have a great Thanksgiving. I'm gonna try to do some filming on Thanksgiving, and uh, yeah, I will talk to you guys next time. Oh, and by the way, as for Thanksgiving, I'm very thankful for all of you.